we're clean. And we can stay clean of these horribly invasive feces. Invasive <laughs> feces. Oh my god. Hey everybody, Chip Hanna or the boat guy. Have you ever heard of a quagga mussel? How about a zebra mussel? I bet you haven't, have you? Well, you need to because these things have the capability of completely ruining everything we love about the water around here. And you, the boater, is our best defense. <laughs> Last year, we met with uh, Sergeant Klein from the state of Washington. Saying that's not Sergeant Klein. That's Africa. No, that's not Sergeant Klein. There we go. So as I said, I'm here at the boat ramp, and I'm here with the heat, uh, Sergeant Carl Klein. I'm not in trouble right now. Nope, no, not yet. Good, good. Uh, Sergeant Klein spoke to us about the quagga and zebra mussel. Now, these things have devastated the East Coast and the Midwest. Sam, it's not the East Coast, and it's not the Midwest. There we go. The East Coast and Midwest have been devastated. Their waterways, their infrastructure, water systems, dams, and the fisheries that they love have been devastated by these things. But here in the state of Washington, oh, for Christ's sake, Sam, it's not the state of Washington. No? There we go. State of Washington, we're good. And we can stay good, but all of it, it's up to us boaters. We have to inspect our boat, motor, and trailer every time we take it out of any body of water and make sure it's clean of everything. I'm asking, no, I'm not asking, I'm pleading with you. Please, please inspect your boat, motor, and trailer. That way when you launch it the next time, you won't be introducing these horrible creatures into our waterways. This is ground zero. This is where these species are gonna get introduced or stopped. It's up to us. Hey everybody, Chip Hanauer, the boat guy here in Saudi Arabia. 